The season is coming to a conclusion and everyone wants to know where their team will finish. You've come to the right place because I'm going to whip through the AFL's ladder predictor and give you all the answers. What's funny about this video is it's going to come out after the weekend's results. So you guys are going to know already whether I got this first section right or not. I think last year I tipped the D's to beat Geelong in the grand final. I'm not going to tip the D's to make the grand final in this one because I think they can. I think we're building and I think we should. But I don't know. I feel like it's. I'm going to put the moz on them by doing that, and I don't want to. So I'm probably going to tip the D's to make a prelim and not go all the way. But let's see how we go with these predictions. All right, Bulldogs and the Tigers. The Bulldogs have no backline. The Tigers are pressing, but it's at Marvel. I think the Tigers are going to win on Friday night. Bombers and West Coast. Bombers all the way. I'm only going to change the margin for games against West Coast and North and whatnot. So I reckon the Bombers are going to win by... I reckon they're going to win by 50 points. Adelaide and the Suns. Suns are flying. The Suns have beaten the Lions. And who'd they beat the other way? The Saints as well. The Suns are beating top eight teams. The Crows. Oh, I'm going to have to tip the Crows though. Hawthorne and the Pies. The Pies will get that done. I love that fixture. I love MCG, two MCG teams. Saturday Arvo. I know it's not 210. Uh, the 435. That's delicious. All right, Geelong versus Port. I reckon Geelong are going to win. They're a proud club. They don't lose three in a row often, if ever. I think they're going to lift and get the job done. And I think the power's top two spot's going to be vulnerable for the Demons to slide in. GWS and Sydney, I think... I think the Giants' run comes to an end just because it has to at some point. And the Swans are in good form. So I'm tipping the, uh, the Swans in that one. I think the Ds beat... North, I think the Ds will be trailing at half time. I think it's going to be one of those plucky games where North really lift. Alistair Clarkson's back in the fold. Maybe we're down by 11 points at half time, but we run over them in the second half and hopefully we win by 50. I'm going to put the margin up to 50 in that game. Saints and the Blues. Everyone reckons the Blues, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Saints win, but I'm going to have to tip the Blues. I'm going to have to tip the Blues in that one, given the form, but... It wouldn't surprise me if the Saints pull something out of the bag. And then Freo and the Lions. I reckon Freo can win this. I reckon they're starting to build in form. They've got their cohesion back. A part of me wants to tip them. I really want to tip them here. But everyone's going to think I'm just tipping them because I want the Ds to finish second. I'm going to tip the Dockers. I'm going to tip the Dockers in this one. All right, so right now, at the end of the round, the Ds will be second. And the Lions, still a game and a half in the four. I expect the Lions to finish third when I do this. All right, the Pies and the Cats. The Pies win that. North and Essendon. How close was it when they first played earlier in the season? I would have tipped North. I, I reckon at some point North are going to win one more game. And they nearly beat the Bombers earlier in the year. And I reckon it's just going to be a stupid upset that happens. And, and we all go, how did that happen? But I reckon, I reckon North will beat Essendon. Sydney and the Suns. That's a really tight one. I'm going to go with the Suns. The Suns are always somewhat competitive against the Swans. So I'm going to go the Suns in that one. Lions bounce back. Big win at the Gabba. Blues and the Ds. This is probably our toughest test towards the end of the season. The Blues are flying, but I reckon the Ds edge them out. I reckon that'll be under 10 points. Uh, West Coast and Freo. Freo get it done, and I reckon they get it done by 50, so I'm going to change the margin. The Hawks and the Bulldogs. I reckon the Hawks can win that. I reckon the Hawks are going to take a scalp. Saints and the Tigers. I'm going to tip the Saints. And then Port versus the Giants. I'm going to tip the Power. The Pies and the Lions. I think the Pies win. I think the Tigers beat North by 50. The Suns and the Blues. I think the Blues probably win. I think the Giants beat the Bombers. I think... I think the Saints beat the Cats. I think the Saints beat the Cats at Marvel. Crows will beat the Swans. Dogs will beat West Coast by 50 plus. Dees will beat the Hawks. The Power will beat the Dockers, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Dockers almost pinched that one. Round 24, the final round. This is where all the positions get locked in. We'll go the Lions over the Saints. Blues and the Giants. I'm going to go the Blues. The Pies will beat the Bombers. The Bulldogs could beat the Cats, but I reckon the Cats will beat the Bulldogs. And the Cats are in eighth. I reckon Hawthorne could probably beat Freo at the G in the last round. The Suns will beat North. The Ds will beat the Swans, hopefully. That could be a bit of a hairy one. 
Port Adelaide will beat the Tigers. And Adelaide will beat West Coast. Now let's look at the final ladder. This is my ladder predictor for season 2023. Wow. So the D's have finished second. That's crazy. I'm going to be honest. If this was the actual end of the season, I would be licking my lips. If the D's finish second and the traveling team is the power to the G, I'd be so excited. If it was the Lions, I'd be nervous. I think the Lions are offensively very terrifying. But if it was the power who finished third, man, that would be exciting. But here we go. So the Pies play the Lions. The Ds play the power. Carlton play GWS and they play each other the week before, which is always quite funny how that happens sometimes in the fixture. And then the Saints take on the Crows. I think I've got the Cats just missing, Tigers just missing. I don't know what's happened to the Bombers there. They've fallen off a cliff. What the hell? That's a bit stiff. I think that's probably going to be wrong. Freo end up getting that fourth spot, so the Ds will get pick four. Happy days. West Coast hold on to Harley Reid because I reckon the I reckon North will pinch one more along the way. I think that's what happened, which mixed up Essendon. Um, I tipped North over Essendon. but So there we go. That is the final ladder. Let's go through to the finals. Let's tip the finals now. So I reckon the Pies will win week one. I reckon the Blues will win week one. I reckon Adelaide will win week one. And I reckon the Ds will win week one. What a cool finals. Like how how cool are the teams in here? Like it looks so random. There's no Richmond's, Hawthorne, Sydney's, Geelong's. Like seeing all these teams in there is like messing with my brain. All right, let's go to the next round. Wow, it's a showdown. It's a showdown. A showdown elimination final. You are kidding me. I'm going to tip the Lions at the Gabba. Oh, no. I don't want to play the Lions in a prelim. And I'm going to... Well, to be honest, Adelaide always beat the power. I'm going to tip Port. All right. The... (laughs) <laughs> the prelim final. It's the top four team, so that's probably a bit of a mainstream answer. I reckon that oh, I reckon the D's could get in it. I, I wasn't going to tip us to make the grand final because I didn't want to. I don't want to jinx us. I'm going to tip the Lions to go through just because I, I think just to just to be unbiased. I reckon the Lions will go through against the Pies, and then a pretty pretty straightforward answer. I reckon the Pies win the flag. So there you go. That is my end of season predictions. If the D's finish second, geez, we could have a real tilt at it. Where are we? This is going to be so exciting. I've probably got a million of these wrong, but that's what is so fun about predicting the end of the season. Thanks to everyone who tuned in. Comment down below if you think I've got any of these right. Comment down below if you think that I got any of these wrongs. I really love chatting about these hypotheticals with you guys down in the comments. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And once again, I appreciate all the support and I'll see you all very soon for some more content. Cheers, guys.